I'm gonna have to do a video on this. What's up, YouTube? Thanks so much for stopping in. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Tap that bell so you know when I post new videos. I know you've probably been missing me on the tube and wondering where I've been at. but kind of missing an action here, right? Well, it's because I signed a contract with Facebook to stream, which means I've been over on the book lately. You guys got to check it out on the book, Real Joseph Corey, and on the gram, Real Joseph Corey. And of course, the little birdie, Twitter, Real Joseph Corey. Twitch, Joseph Corey, you guessed it. Well, check me out on all the social handles, but you gotta check me out over on the book because that's where I'm streaming 90% of the time. So if you guys wanna get in on the live streams and check out the action, all the games I'm playing, you gotta do that over on the book right now, Real Joseph Corey. Be sure to follow, explanation point notify in the chat or tap the bell so you're notified when I go live on the book. So you guys can catch some of this action live, not have to wait a couple of days for it. But we're gonna get right to today's video. I got something great for you guys on STG44 on Vanguard. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this gun up so that you're gonna be begging for more. They're gonna be begging you to stop. You're gonna mow them down, shred them down. You're gonna be the end all be all with the STG44. I'm gonna show you guys how you can make it as fast as an SMG, but put out more damage than the average assault rifle with taking very little penalties on the attachments. Let's go, let's get started. Let me show you guys why this is a banger and you guys are gonna enjoy it. Thanks so much for stopping in. Peace and love for you. See you on the next video. I'm out of here. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Guys, STG44 right here. This is my setup. Crazy part about this gun, if you set it up for most power possible, you're gonna be slow. You're gonna be mounted on ledges and hiding behind stuff because it's gonna be painfully slow and you'll get mowed and shredded right down by a guy who has an MP40. Then again, if you set this gun up to be as fast as an MP40, it's not gonna do hardly any damage and you're most likely gonna lose every gunfight because although you're just as fast as them, damn near, they're gonna have more power. The STG44 needs to be set up right to maintain good power and decent speed. Otherwise, you're going to be slow and powerful or fast and very weak. It's a crazy spot to be in with this gun, right? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Well, don't worry about it because I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to show you how you can have your cake and eat it too with the STG. I'm going to show you how you can have your cake and eat it too with the STG44. Let's go. First off, Mercury Silencer, no questions asked. That's what you want. You're gonna lose only damage range. And with this gun set up right, definitely not gonna have to worry about it as it's an assault rifle and you're not in war zone. So you don't need to worry about any other silencers or any other compensators, anything. You don't need to worry about a barrel. Forget the barrels. There's no option here. You don't need it. You want the Mercury Silencer, trust me. It's gonna give you sound suppression and recoil control. It's all you need to worry about. Now there's two options for the barrel. If you guys wanna go with the 320 millimeter, that's gonna be extremely fast, but as you can see, speed and accuracy in this gun is already good, so it's kind of a waste of time. The 620, on the other hand, only slight increase in speed, but you're losing even more damage, which you can't afford, because this is not really the most powerful gun in the game. So what you want is the 760. The 760.05B is gonna give you guys highly accurate and controllable fire. Not only that, reduce scope away and gun bob, which is important, especially for long ranges and damage range. You're gonna be losing sprint fire speed and walking movement speed, and of course, hip fire accuracy. We're gonna rectify the hip fire accuracy. The Carver grip, as you can see, is already on the gun. We'll get to that in a minute. The optic here, I have it set up to the M19 4.0. 
typically I don't run that too often, even though it's pretty stable. If you really want to get down to it, you don't want to worry about losing speed. I recommend the slate reflector. It's going to give you guys a precision sight picture. It's just like it says, and a 1.35 magnified vision. If you really want to use the 2.5, you can get away with that as well. It's going to give you accuracy and recoil control. I recommend in team deathmatch to go with what works for you. And since I use the 2.5 on my MP40, that is what we're going to run here. As far as the stock, you guys are going to want to run the Constance Tactical. I promise you this is the best one. You're losing some sprint to fire speed. It's painful. I know you're losing hip fire accuracy. That's now two hits we've taken on it. But we're going to get it back later on. You're going to lose that little bit of sprint to fire speed. However, you're going to get aim, walking, movement speed, steadiness, and initial accuracy and recoil control. That means while you're aiming down the sights, you're going to be very quick, very accurate, and your first burst of shots that come out of the gun are going to be very accurate as well. So we're going to use the Constance Tactical. That's the best one to go with. As far as the proficiency, Nerves of Steel, Focus, or Vital. I seriously recommend Focus, though, is it's flinch resistance, and that's what you're going to need when you're taking damage and trying to shoot, especially running and gunning with an assault rifle. So as far as your kit, we're going to keep it simple. This is not a sniper rifle. You don't need to worry about anything else unless you're mounting walls. You might need Defender, but I highly recommend fully loaded. You get more ammo. You're going to need it, especially if your field upgrade is not an ammo crate. Okay, so you guys want to get to some more good stuff? Let's talk about the rear grip. No need to look at anything else except the polymer grip. The reason why, you're getting two times increase on flinch resistance, meaning more accuracy while you're taking damage or being shot at or suppressed. Not only that, on the previous attachments, we had the initial accuracy and recoil control increased. Now we've got one on accuracy and recoil control under sustained fire. So now we got one for sustained fire and one for the initial. So as soon as you start shooting, that's going to kick in, and once you continue to shoot, the polymer grip is going to kick in even further, and they're both going to be combined for increased flinch resistance, which is very critical. And over the last few attachments, you guys can clearly see you're going to be getting aim walking movement speed, sustained accuracy and recoil control, initial accuracy and recoil control, and a lot of flinch resistance. So there you go. So let's go ahead and talk about the magazine. In short, the 30 cal Russian 30 round magazine is the best. If you only have the 20 round mags, you're going to need sleight of hand. If you have 30 round mags, you can still run sleight of hand, but it's not needed as much because 30 rounds is enough to kill two or three people. Or one that's bobbing and weaving and running and jumping all over the place like a friggin' bunny rabbit. But in any case, I recommend the 30 round Russian mags. The Garenko rounds are going to give you a lot more accuracy and stability, but they're weak as crap and they're no good. Trust me, the way this gun's set up, you want the Russian short 30 rounds, 20 with sleight of hand or the 30 rounds. I recommend the 30 rounds. Ammo type, I got your back again. Of course I got your back. You're going to use lengthened for three bullet velocity. No negatives or cons on this at all. Plus three on your bullet velocity. There's more damage for you. If I take this off, watch the damage go down. There we go. We're going to click it back on. Look at the length and you're going to have more firepower. You definitely want that on. Moving along to the underbarrel, I told you guys we would rectify some stuff. The Carver foregrip is going to give you hip fire accuracy, which we lost two earlier. We're getting one of them back. So this gun actually does very good, especially at hip firing, as you're going to see in the upcoming clips. Not only that, two recoil controls. This is really an overall great gun now. We've stabilized. It's decently quick, and it does some pretty decent damage. And for an assault rifle, it is pretty fast. Oh, they're doing the way I've got it right now. Everything. This is the way the gun needs to be. You don't want to be confused and set it up wrong. I'm going to have to do a video on this. Oh.
Yeah, buddy! Oh. 